It's been 7 years since we've gotten a new Hunger Games movie, and it's been 10 years since the first film came out, but it's finally happening again. We are getting another Hunger Games movie. Granted, we're gonna have to wait another year and a half, but still, it's so exciting. We've gotten a lot of new details that have made me excited so far, and in this video, I'm going to break down everything we know about the project. The directors, the writers, producers, cast, the short trailer we got, and behind the scenes details. On top of that, I'll also explain why I have such high hopes for this film. So without further ado, let's get into it. This movie will focus on Coriolanus Snow, the main villain from the original series. But this time around, he's just a teenager, as this story revolves around the 10th Hunger Games. Instead of Snow running the game the way he did in the original series, he's actually participating in it. Well, sort of. He's mentoring a tribute who goes into the arena. He ends up being matched up with the female tribute from District 12 named Lucy Gray, which is sort of poetic given the fact that his downfall came at the hand of another District 12 tribute. I have a message for President Snow. Fire is catching. And if we burn, you burn with us. It then quickly turns into a love story with all different twists and turns. It's a plot that differs from the original series, but also has many of the same themes and backdrops. And while that's my summary of the plot, here's what the studio themselves said. Uniting their instincts for showmanship and newfound political savvy, Snow and Lucy's race against time to survive will ultimately reveal who is a songbird and who is a snake. The movie itself will again be funded and released by Lionsgate, the same company that brought us the first four Hunger Games movies. This film is going to be based on a prequel novel that actually came out back in early 2020. The book was very well regarded, and I myself was in disbelief with how much I enjoyed it. They had actually announced both the book and the movie at the same time, which made me nervous because I thought Suzanne Collins, the author of the series, would be thinking too much about how they would adapt it rather than focusing on writing the novel as a novel. But luckily, my worries were for nothing because she delivered big time. This book is one of the best prequels I've ever read. As I said earlier, this film will be released on November 17th, 2023, and according to Lionsgate chairman Joe Drake, he said they would begin production in the first half of 2022, meaning the cast and crew are probably hard at work already. The story is obviously based on Suzanne Collins' novel, which is actually a good deal bigger than the first three novels, but the screenplay is being adapted by Michael Leslie, who wrote the script for the Assassin's Creed film. The movie didn't get the best reception, but it shows that he has experience adapting screenplays from already existing material. The director of this movie will be Francis Lawrence, who directed the final three Hunger Games films, so Catching Fire, which is my favorite in the series, as well as parts 1 and 2 of Mockingjay. This makes me so happy to hear, because I think Lawrence did an incredible job jumping on and finishing the series on a high note. When looking at the producers, we have a few more people returning. Nina Jacobson and Tim Palin, both of whom worked on all four of the Hunger Games movies, will produce this movie as well. We also have Jim Miller returning, who produced the first two Hunger Games films. And joining all of them, we have Brad Simpson, who has worked a lot with Jacobson, so they have good chemistry. And of course, joining them as an executive producer is Suzanne Collins herself, meaning she'll be able to guide them in the right direction. During the MTV Movie and TV Awards, which took place on June 5th, we got a quick teaser trailer. Let's just take a look at it. It starts with a snowy and frozen tree, and we slowly see a snake slither across the branches. It makes its way to a frozen Mockingjay, and as it does, the ice and snow melts off to reveal a golden bird and snake. When they meet on the branches, it zooms out and depicts what's on the book cover, the book that this film is adapting. Throughout all of this, it also tells us that we are invited to return to the games in 2023. The world will discover who is a songbird and who is a snake. The Mockingjay and the snake both take on huge meanings in this novel, so the symbolism of the two meeting just as they did on the book cover is a very powerful shot when looking at it more deeply. But I won't give anything away, I'll leave it at that. We have a whole bunch of cast members to go over. Tom Blythe will be taking on the lead role as Coriolanus Snow, and he's not new to leading roles, as he's the star of the TV series Billy the Kid. Believe me, I really do not want to kill you. Make sure he gets a decent burial. And he has many other credits as well, like The Gilded Age, Benediction, which he was also the star of, and going back even further, he was in the 2010 Robin Hood movie. Playing Lucy Gray, we have Rachel Zegler, who is fresh off the critically acclaimed movie West Side Story. She was also in DC Shazam, and is set to play Snow White in Disney's live-action adaptation. I have no doubt that she will deliver as the eccentric Lucy Gray. She is an extraordinary actress. i never seen you before. I'm not Puerto Rican. Is that okay? 
And speaking of West Side Story stars, Josh Rivera will be playing Snow's best friend, Sejanus Plinth, another all-star choice. We also have Hunter Schaefer, the breakout star from the hit show Euphoria, playing Tigress, a character who you might remember from the original films, who also happens to be Snow's cousin. Playing Mayfair Lip, the daughter of the District 12 mayor, is Laura Marsden, who was in the new Marvel show Ms. Marvel. On top of that, Jason Schwartzman will be playing Lucky Flickerman, the host of the Tenth Hunger Games, and of course the ancestor of Caesar Flickerman from the original series. Ladies and gentlemen, your master of ceremonies, Caesar Flickerman! As I said earlier while explaining the plot, Capital students got matched up with tributes to become their mentors, and so far we know the casting for eight of those mentors. Just so I don't talk your ear off when I go over each actor, I'll just show their most notable credits instead of going over each one of them. For Clemencia, she's being played by Ashley Liao. Arachne Crane is being played by Lily Maria Cooper. Fipsania Sickle is being played by Amory Hoffale. Festus Creed will be played by Max Raphael. Vickers will be played by Zoe Renee. Pliny Harrington will be played by... Wow, I cannot say that name, so I'm gonna let him say it for you. I am Ike Adigan. Felix Ravenstow will be played by Amr Hussein, and Domitia Wimsewick will be played by Caitlin Akinpelumi. And as for the tributes we know about, Cora will be played by Mackenzie Lansing, Wolvie will be played by Sophia Sanchez, Jessup will be played by Nick Benson, Bobbin will be played by Knox Gibson, Dill will be played by Luna Steeples, Treats will be played by Hiroki Bearcloth, and finally Marcus will be played by Jerome Lance. This seems to be a pretty solid cast, especially for the main roles, which makes me very excited about what's to come. I think this movie has all the right pieces to make it great. They have directors and producers who know the series well, they have Suzanne Collins on board to make sure everything is faithful, and they're following a book that has an incredible plot. The original Hunger Games films are some of the best adaptations if you ask me. They were incredibly faithful to the source material, and I think we're going to see that again with this prequel. Story-wise, there are so many directions and points they can follow. The Dark Days, which we heard all about in the original series, the formation of the Hunger Games, a deeper look at capital life like the school, the creation of the Mockingjay, and of course Snow's character. The Hunger Games films added a lot of lore to his story because they added these amazing cutaway scenes to Snow throughout all four films that were not in the book. So, in a way, this movie is actually better set up than the original prequel book was. I can't wait to see what they do with this prequel film. It's still a long way away, but so far from what we've seen, I think it will be worth the wait. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram to see more of my personal life like my cute dog Loki and some behind the scenes movie flame stuff. I also do similar content on TikTok and Twitter that I do here on this channel, so if you like what I do here, check them out. All the handles are right below me, and links are in the description. Over here are my wonderful patrons. If you want to be featured on the next video, plus get a few other perks, become a patron today. As always, if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe, and look out for more great Movie Flame videos on the way.